my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Capitan Biblical Reflections on the Lenten Biblical Symbols. Today we have for a reflection the symbol is the thunder. Thunder is a sound that accompanies lightning during a thunderstorm. The thunder is an indication of the power of God or Yahweh and its might. God is great and has power over all living creatures in heaven and on earth. His power covers all through all the ages. His might and his rule last forever. God rules with authority, power, strength and might. He judges accordingly and his judgment is true and just. When God utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens and he causes the clouds to ascend from the ends of the earth. He brings rain on the earth. The earth is filled with his glory. When God spoke from the heavens, there was fear and trembling. Nobody could be remain unattended by his voice. Exodus chapter 20 verse 18 says, Now when all the people perceived the thundering and the lightning and the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, the people were afraid and trembled and they stood afar off. So the power of God creates all things new and makes the earth to respond to the voice. They move and act according to his wish. He has power over all the natural things on earth to form clouds, to cause rain, to give light and darkness on earth. When God wanted to bring justice, peace, harmony on the earth, there was thunder, lightning and the whole earth responded and resounded the actions of God. The voice of the Lord is mighty and sounded like thunder. It was through this powerful and mighty voice God makes things to happen. So the book of Revelation narrates the action of God in this way. And I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters and like the sound of the thunder. Revelation chapter 14 verse 2. So scripture gives different understanding on thunder. Thunder is sent as a sign. Thunder is a sign of God's presence on the earth. It was through the sign of God communicated his presence. Revelation chapter 16 verse 18. Second, thunder is sent as a punishment. It was a punishment to the enemies, but for Israelites, it was a refuge in time of danger. 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 10. And third, thunder on Mount Sinai. God's presence was felt on Mount Sinai. It was only for Moses to go up to it and there he could communicate with God. So, God's glory and presence is being narrated here, Exodus chapter 19, verse 16. Fourth, thunder is a manifestation of the divine power. God is being manifested in thunder. The whole course of the world is being disturbed due to the power of God. Psalm 77, verse 18. Fifth, a thunder is a sign of divine anger. It was through thunder, God's anger is being manifested. The prophet prays to God to show a sign of his anger and dissatisfaction over the wickedness of people. 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 17 to 18. So my dear brothers and sisters, we have the beautiful narration of God's power through many ways. Especially today we have thunder. God makes you simple things to communicate to reveal his plans to people. Most of the times, it was the presence of God which was felt during the thunderstorm. God is to be feared, revered and honored throughout all the ages and by all living creatures. As we live in this world, let us be aware of God's presence in all things, especially in living beings, in our own fellow brothers and sisters. God communicates in many ways daily and each moment but the best communication is found in his word that is through the scriptures namely bible god speaks to us even now through bible let us then hearken our ears to his voice which is calling to repentance amen